Hello Sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab, and people love Xbox Games Pass, and they want it on the PlayStation. Well, it's there already, and has been for a while. You see it all the time from idiots on the internet. Sony needs to have a service like Xbox Game Pass, a service where you just pay a flat fee and can download and play games from a huge library of titles. The fact that there are people still saying this now just shows how absolutely useless Sony has been at advertising PlayStation Now. Because that's literally what PlayStation Now is. Just look here. Download game is one option and stream game is the other. Yes, just like Xbox Game Pass, PlayStation Now is is a service that lets you pick from hundreds of games, first person shooters, action, adventure, arcade, RPG, whatever, and then you can download them to your system and play it. Absolute bangers too. Bloodborne, God of War, Horizon, Judgment, Red Dead, Tekken 7, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, download them to your PS4 or PS5, stick them on a USB drive, throw it out the window, I don't care, but you can. Don't want to wait to download them? Fine, stream them right away instead. If you don't mind streaming, then you can also pick from a ton of PS3 games too. Metal Gear Solid 4 is pretty much stuck to the PS3 hardware, except now it's not, and you can stream it right away. What you're looking at right now is a direct capture I made from a PS4 while streaming Metal Gear Solid 4. Do you need amazing internet to stream at this quality? No, my internet was having a bad day when I filmed all of this, as you can see on the screen. But I can still stream Boob Fighter 5 at 60 frames per second or kick the ass off this Russian guy in Tekken 7 with no real detectable lag. Games like Detroit here look fantastic, but I'm guessing YouTube is butchering the video quality, so instead, here's Super Hang On from Sega. When you download a game from PS Now, it appears like normal on your home screen, but so do games that you've decided to stream. You can tell the stream games because they have the little PlayStation Now logo by them. So what what PlayStation Now actually is, is not just Xbox Game Pass, but Microsoft xCloud as well, all rolled into one. Those stream games are fairly quick to load. Now this might be faster on a PS5, but I don't have one yet. So here's how long it takes to boot a streamed game on a PS4. It's a huge failure by Sony that they have not pushed this service. Because what would you rather download and play? Crackdown on Xbox or God of War on PlayStation? Obviously it's God of War. You'd have to be mentally stupid to say otherwise. Sony is a fantastic product here, but their marketing is utter garbage and it shows in their figures. For a system with over 150 million units sold, having only 3.2 million PlayStation Now users is dreadful. Now, Xbox Shield at some point will crawl out of the woodwork and say ah but Microsoft put all their games on Game Pass on day one to that I say what games it's been a year and all they put out is a Gears of War game but yeah when Bethesda releases the next Elder Scrolls game in 2029 or 343 Industries shows how they're going to ruin the next Halo game, it will come out on Game Pass on launch day. But of course Sony won't do that because they're a business that needs to turn a profit. Giving your games away at a net loss is how you go out of business. You're wrong. Just look at other subscription services like Netflix and Spotify. Oh yeah, Spotify, who have never once turned a profit and are only able to stay in business thanks to huge sums of money given to them by venture capitalists or Netflix who's had to borrow 15 billion dollars over a 10 year stretch to fund their original content again all funded by venture capitalists but Microsoft does have almost infinite money but they need it to fund the black hole that is Game Pass AAA games can cost 150 million dollars each to produce each third party game on the service needs to have royalties paid to that developer to keep it on the service and to keep the number of new first party games high, they have to spend billions of dollars buying studios like Bethesda. Just the cost to buy Bethesda alone is the equivalent of 41 million Xbox Game Pass Ultimate users paying the 
full $180 per year. The cost to pay for all these first party studios to create games from Microsoft and to license third party games to the service is huge. And then to give them all away for only $15 a month means they're gonna need more users than they've ever had to turn this into a profit generating system. Microsoft might have infinite money, but shareholders don't have infinite patience. Just look at Mixer, Zoom, Groove Music, Microsoft Phone. Infinite money doesn't stop shareholders demanding that the plug be pulled on loss making services. Game Pass is the big gamble because if it doesn't bring the sales like what they want, what's to stop Microsoft from dropping the Xbox brand like they almost did when the Xbox One flopped at launch? But to come back around, I understand why Sony won't won't put their AAA games on PlayStation Now from day one because it doesn't make financial sense at all. But when you compare Microsoft's output, it's not like they have that many AAA games anyway that they can put on the service. So in the here and now, really both services offer the same core idea. They both offer hundreds of games on demand that you can download and play. And in the case of PlayStation Now, you can also stream games too. So stop asking for Game Pass and PlayStation because it already exists. And PlayStation Now is better because it's got Arcania Heart 3. Abba. Thanks for watching, guys. A like, subscribe, and comment are very much appreciated. Plus, if you like what you saw, here are some links on the screen now to some of my other videos that I've made that you might like.